Okay, today we are going to do uh, statics. So I got 70, 77, 77 pounds on there. So not a ton of weight. Now, statics is an amazing way to train for arm wrestling. A lot of times when people are working out, they're doing like a single lift, uh, they're doing reps. Statics is one of the safest, most efficient, and best ways to get strong at arm wrestling. And you can do statics like in any single way, doesn't matter if you're doing rising, cupping, rolling, supination, whatever, grip, any kind of lift you can do static train. So I got my little book of records and I'm doing statics a certain way. Lots of different ways to do it. You have to be sure that you're not cheating the lift too much, but basically when it comes to statics, the way I view it is weight for a set amount of time. And that's how I do my documentation. So right now I've got, like I said, 77.5 pounds on there. Uh, so I have to lift it for a certain amount of time for it to be in the progressive trajectory of uh, what I'm happy with. And the, another way that I, I do this is I do it over the course of a set number of rounds with a set amount of rest period between rounds. And the best thing you can use, in my opinion, is uh, the format of the league you're arm wrestling with. So World Arm Wrestling League. Uh, typically we're, we're talking about five rounds with a minute and a half or so between rounds. So that's, this is what it kind of looks like. So I've got uh, a timer that I work with. You can use a clock, whatever, a watch. Got this uh, little remote here. So, and I'm ready to start. And I'm going to just hold the weight. Just hold it. And you can see uh, the angles that I keep my wrist at. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I really love statics is because I'm always basically in the exact position that I want to get strong. I don't move around too much. As the weight gets heavy, I kind of uh, move it so that it's um, I'm still able to do it. It's targeting all the right places. And the kind of pump that you get from doing statics is, is really, really good, especially when you have short amount of time between rounds. So we got the clock. Um, and I'm going to do this over the course of um, five rounds. And I will be taking a one and a half minute rest period. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing. I'll just show you how I kind of uh, document this progress. So I'm already like I'm starting to, to burn a little bit, starting to burn up. Um, all right, we're at one. I'll go, I'll go until 130. And good. Okay. Now, so I'll just write down on my board because my brain doesn't doesn't work so well for the remembering thing so I did a minute 30 I'll add a minute 30 to that because that's my rest period so my next next set will start at the three minute mark and so until then I'm just kind of chilling out uh, yeah so I'll be back on here in a minute and the way that I record how well I've done is so round one two three four five I add up all the time on the top, and that's how I keep my records. Normally, well, always my first round is the best, and by the end, I'm, I'm typically failing. This weight's quite manageable, so I, so I should be able to carry on. The heavier the weight, uh, yeah, the more difficult it is to recover between rounds. But that's pretty much it. Totally encourage you guys to uh, put statics in your workout so you can truly reap the rewards of the pumpkin.